of my phone. What kind of idiot do you think I am? Am I a stupid immigrant from the mainland? <laughs> Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. <laughs> no problem at all, Mrs. Chu. Way. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. You won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft with too, way. Eh? It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. Then what will you be? <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. You are family now, way. Eh? I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find someone for you. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful. But... You know, her bark is worse than right. That I know. How about her meat cleaver? Ha! 
that's worse than her bark for sure. Now, she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me to just be careful! And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. Well, you're lucky. And my mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes, too. And that drove her crazy. Bad enough if I went out with a Chinese-American girl, but, but a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That, too? Here we are. Ah, so good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to finalize the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower, and now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes, but they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told them they offered Temple $100,000. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> a black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh, well, Wei, come on. We can go now. All right. Next, we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out. Winston's in charge of that? Ah! I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the States? Yeah, you know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in old prosperity, she, you know, she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. And my mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Some don't die at hey. all. Isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Wait, slow down. <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Faster, faster, go faster. Pulling over. Sir, do something. Get out there and get him. Here, here, take the wheel. Careful, don't hurt my cake. Don't worry. Get that van. Go, go. Don't scratch the paint. You can do it. Wait, what are you doing? I'll 
Tell Winston I got the... Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. Oh, thank you, Wei. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh-oh. <laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that one. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. Careful! Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no. Not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family. You have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be... rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah. Now I appreciate it. Man needs brothers. Uncles. And sisters, too. To help me with that saw side. Don't laugh. It's very important. You know, I could probably set you up. Mm. <laughs> You're a good-looking man. <laughs> Thanks, but and I'm not looking for anything serious right now. Yeah, I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. Wait here, I'll be right back. What are you doing here? <clears throat> when it when energy flows among flowers, we are all everywhere. I am here, and not here. I, um, love flowers. Ah, brother. So true, so true. You don't belong here. Uh, what is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I guess failure is impossible. Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? When we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true.
You got them? Oh, wait, thank you so much. How can I say no? Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these robes are gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. Cops, perfect. Hi, ya. Sister, the least I can do is help out with your wedding. Your mother will be proud of you. I hope so. Now, sometimes I wonder. No, I can see it. Life isn't perfect, it never is. You have a good heart. Peggy, I. Nope, I know. Women's intuition. It's the same with Winston. He talks tough, but underneath, he's a very caring man. That's why I love him. Thanks. That's the secret. You do what you have to do, but you always remember your family. Remember the people who love you. Thanks for being so helpful, Way. I really appreciate it. Of course. It. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you. I found one of your statues. A sheep. This is good. Did, what would you like to learn? Your left wing. 
stop by again to find one of my staff. I got good duck. Serve it up. What did I tell you? You look like a new man. My duck has healing powers. Help you out. Make you feel good. You want some?
Again soon. Bye bye. Hey man, I'm stuck in traffic. I'll get there as soon as possible. Don't worry, there's still time. Don't start without me. I'm so happy you can make it. Congratulations. Peggy, you look stunning. <laughs> Thanks, Wei. <laughs> you both must be very happy. Yes. The best day of your life, <laughs> so they say. You know what? They're right. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Oh, Uncle Paul, welcome. My guest of honor. I'm happy to be here. It's nice to see someone who wants to be a good family man. Not enough of that nowadays. Hi. You look absolutely lovely, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. Almost as lovely as your mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, and this is true. I expect the food to be. Wait, wait. Fantastic. I got a case of the chairman's favorite wine in my car. I forgot to bring it in. Do you mind grabbing in and making sure they know it's for him? Find a way inside. I I'll go get help.
你个卵样，我唔卵顺眼啊！Are you okay? Can you walk? What's going on? What happened to Winston? Okay, come on. We gotta get you out of here.
Uncle Paul, you're hurt. It's nothing but a little scratch. Look, son, we gotta get you to a hospital. He's hurt. We need a doctor. Now! What is this? What's going on here? My boy, maybe you'll want to leave before our friends, the police, show up. <laughs> Are you going to take care of my uncle? And if anything happens to him, I'm holding Hello, you personally police? responsible. Oh, thank God. Are we clear? Okay, okay. Where have you been? Stuck in traffic. It's Hong Kong. Fuck, Raymond. You think showing up for these things is easy for me? I know you've been through a lot, boy. More than we have any right to ask. Now the wedding. It was a massacre, Raymond. A massacre. Winston was a red pole, sure. But his wife, a fucking gunned down his wife on her wedding day. We knew you would become personally attached, Wei. It's inevitable in an operation like this. And seeing something like that would be hard. Hard for anyone. It's war now. No, it's not. You're a cop, all right? Your job is to enforce the law. You can't remember that? I'll pull you out right now. Pull me out? Your job was to get close to Winston. Now, that's not much of a strategy anymore. Get close to? Open your eyes, Raymond. I am Winston now. With him gone, I'll be taking his place. You want the chairman? I report to him now. You want the Red Poles? I'm one of them. That's what worries me, Wei. You're one of them. You want to give up the best undercover HKPD has ever had? Your best shot taking down the sun on Yi? Anything happens to me, you look after my people, okay? Get Peggy out of here. Winston! She doesn't deserve this. No! Hey, what can I do for you? 
for you. Yeah. 
Where's this guy? Hotshot's trying to kill me! He's crazy! He's... Shit! Anyone there? What? Hello? Hello? Can you tell me where you are? What? He's dead. Be all right. 
Hang in there. supposed to catch them in the act. Yeah, well, they acted too fast. I have an eyewitness statement and all the evidence you need to get this bag of shit off the streets. I'll type out a warrant. <laughs> Don't bother. I have a better idea. I'll challenge him to a race, and once we're in it, I'll lead him right to you. All right, but wait. I want him alive.
punk never shuts up. You should have seen the look on his face when we charged him with murder. They'll get 20 years at least. Nobody pays much attention to those guys, but they kill or injure dozens of people a year. Possible to say how many lives you've saved, but you really did a job on this one, Officer Shen. This is Chu. I was just stopping by to see if there was anything you needed. I, I know it's no consolation, but I gotta look at one of the gunmen from the wedding. Now I will find him, and I'll make him tell me who's responsible. You <laughs> Ricky, this way. Shit, way. How you holding up? I got a lot of loose ends to clean up. I need an outsider for a couple things. You got Johnny Ratface's number? Johnny Ratface? Man, stay away from that lunatic. You give him a job, you're gonna have to steam clean your conscience when he's done. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know all about him. He's my man. I guess you know what you're doing. Hey, is this, uh, is this Johnny? Yeah. Um, a friend sent me to you. Works with a lot of movie stars, know what I mean? So? So I got a problem. He said you could help me.
Hey, is this, uh, is this Johnny? Yeah. Um, a friend sent me to you. Works with a lot of movie stars, know what I mean? So? So I got a problem. He said you could help me. I'm busy. Wait, 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 please, look. I trade diamonds down in Central. My partner took off with all our stock. You know, by the time the cops look into it, he'll be halfway to Shanghai. I'll never get them back. Diamonds, huh? All I need is someone to recover them. I pay a large fee. Okay, okay. What's the guy's name? His name is, uh... Large Bucktooth Cho. He lives at 101 Aberdeen Road, but I think he may be at his girlfriend's apartment. Yeah, yeah. Where's that? She's at, uh... Got you, fucker. Baby, I promise. Are you insane? Think of all the money we'll make. This is our future, you and me. Fuck you, asshole. I'm not taking off my clothes for you or anyone else. Asshole. Come on, ladies. Move it along. Move, bitch. What do you think this is? Hey, you! Don't let them get me! <laughs> Help me! Help me! Help me. 